So through the experiences with the user group and uh, some of the videos we've seen online of people using X3, sometimes they like to invent their own way of using it. I want to strongly discourage this because every movement was really well thought out. L let me give you some examples. Uh, when somebody hooks their X3 around a door and has discovered a new way to do tricep pushdowns or something like that, what they don't realize is when they throw a band around a door, they might be putting 200 pounds of downward force, 300 pounds of downward force on that door. Uh, not only could they tear the door off of their home, uh, they might end up with that door catapulted by the force created by the band into their face. So X3 is self-contained for a reason. Incredible forces in those bands. In fact, when, uh, when I do a deadlift with the elite band, I'm over, I'm, 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 because I'm six feet tall, it's 615 pounds for me. There's an app that calculates that for you. Um, now, you want to do the movements that are recommended and in the training program. Anything other than that, you don't want to do. And I just, I just want to make that hard recommendation for, for everybody. Now, I think part of why um, people want to customize things is because like they'll look at a bodybuilder and the bodybuilder does like 30 different movements um, to complete you know, all like, let's say their AB split workout or something like that. Bodybuilders do a lot of things that are, mm, I'll be nice, nonsensical. Uh, and repetitive, but I can't explain <laughs> why they do that other than they think they're getting a lot of specialization, but we have professional bodybuilders using X3 only doing the recommended protocol, exactly what the program states to do, and amazingly enough, they're stimulating every muscle. Because remember, there are primary engagement muscles like the pectorals. You can consciously contract your pectoral when you move your arm forward. You can consciously engage your bicep when you bring your, your arm towards your face. But there are other muscles that are stabilization muscles. You don't really think about contracting your obliques or your quadratus muscles and they are here and here, but you engage them constantly when doing X3 and you're developing them also because they're stabilizers. You don't think about them. They just engage when you need to be stabilized. When you need to be stabilized with a weight, they engage. When you need to be stabilized through variable resistance with X3, it's an even greater weight. So you're stimulating them to an even greater degree. So please try not to invent your own way of doing this. Nothing is recommended other than what is in the program. Now that doesn't mean that somebody won't come up with an idea, email me, email the company, and we won't add something later on. But I'd say roughly 500 different ideas have come our way and all of them were bad. So let's just stick to the program as recommended.